Got life or death, better choose it. Got wisdom on your side, don't lose it. My spirit in check, I rule it. If you got a high head, better cool it. In my lane, in my lane, better move it. For I need my 13, lose it. On the way to the kingdom, we cruising. Don't know one, do what we doing. See, I'm three times better when I'm flipping through the script. Pressure bus pipe, G ain't nothing but a drip. Gas flow moving, say hello to the chief. And if he just gonna get it, man, somebody get a brief. I'm 30 days in, past up when you work. Your kids breaking laws and they do it for a turf. And you steady trying to sell a soul for some merch while your wife fake you healing on the ground for a purse. When I got these scripts, man, I can't miss. See a lot of y'all try, but you ain't this. And I'm eating up lies, take them to the bank with. If you ain't selling time, show them with a bank with. is that that was written back then. That has been changed. That that was not how God written that book. Okay, so now. And it was in a whole nother language. What's your okay. name, bro? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me finish. Let what's me your finish. name? Uh, Demetrius. Demetrius. I just want to get this one question off. So that has been changed. That was written by King James, as y'all say, right? No, we didn't say that. Who wrote the book? God. And his, no, and, right. and, and his prophets. That's so, right. no, the book that God written intended for was is is was in a whole different language. Okay. Is that is that is that safe to say? Is that fair to say? It, it was originally written in Hebrew. Right. Then it was translated. It was translated into, by into English by King James first, right? Or was it before? Did somebody? No, no. It was it was in English way before King James. It was many English Bibles before King James translated it, and he didn't translate it himself. No. He had 47 Greek and Hebrew scholars that were commissioned to do that job for him. Right. He, he authorized the translation. Right. Remember, remember, it's called the authorized King James Version. Right. Not King James, the author of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I got, I never said that. So now let me ask you something. Okay. King James, because I know where you're going. King James was, who was he a, the King James looked like the man. He over there. He was on that side. He was wrong. Right? He, he, so he was a white man. Right. What you saying? So and and, and it, it was on a whole different side okay. of. Let me ask the, you something. The, the people who was intended to write the Bible. Demetrius, I'm gonna ask you something. The people of God. Bring it up. Nah, I'm gonna ask you something. You ever heard of the term Dark Ages? Yes, but that's my question. And let me get the question out. If if I I'm not claiming this. If I represent the devil. If you represent who? Our the devil. Me. The devil? Me no, I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, if I represent the devil, if I'm on the opposite side of all of these good things you talk about, and I know my his word is real, I know I can't defeat him. What can I do to stop him? I can fool right, the masses. Right. Uh -huh, fool them how? One, by rewriting their word. If you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, the real way, God is the truth. Uh, hey, are you going to let me answer? I'm, I'm going to forget the question now. God is the truth. He cannot, if he can, if he can lie or break his word, he has no relevance. Uh -huh. So, if I can trick you not to do his word, uh -huh. one, by changing his word, uh -huh. by changing what language you Uh-huh. And, and, and complicating it and making it something different than what it was intended for, you can never get back to God. Okay. So my question was, what are as our leaders doing to get our stuff back? That's why I came back with getting our true artifacts back. Uh -huh. So we know what our true purpose is. What are we doing to get back to that? Because they also say in our book, once we go back to our land, I, we will have no war at all. Nobody will be able to touch So it. I heard the question. Now, okay. now I got to answer. So you asked, first, I, I got the language part. You're talking about King James, the language of the Bible, why I was translated into English and so forth. Going back to what you asked earlier, you asked him the same question. What are we doing to get back to our homeland and so forth, right? Yeah. Did you hear what he answered? Did you hear the answer? Uh, somewhat, and it, 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 it pertains to do, following their guidelines and their books. That, that okay, so their guidelines and their books. All right, so now we got to define that this Bible is your book. That's what we got to define. Yes, right. Because you still you look at it right now as a white man's book, right? Hey. Now, I want to I ask you something. I asked you about the Dark Ages. You said you know what the Dark Ages is, right? You heard of that term so before. I heard of the term. I, I'm not, I can't be specific. I need your help on that. Which okay. Specific talking about? The Dark Ages is a time period in history, right, where the white man calls it the Dark Ages because they were not ruling. That's right. They call it a dark time and period, in, in a dark time 
in, in life where we were not ruling and things were bad and so forth and so on. Guess who was ruling during that time period? We were. That's right. Guess what also happened during that time period? The Bible got translated into English. That's right. So now, I just answered you. I said King James authorized 47 Hebrew and Greek scholars. So that was the first person who put this book in English. No, I said that happened during that time period. There were many. There was a there was a bishop's bishop's Bible. There was called a Wycliffe's Bible, a Geneva Bible. There were different English translations prior to that. So now, let's deal with right. Um, I don't even know if you know the term or not, but you, you're dealing with the English language. You said English, right? Yeah. Where does the term English come from? Where does that term come from? That's that's like London or something. Let's even, say England, right? Like even with this England, stuff going right? on, they were speaking Roman, and I, they were speaking English. I'm dealing English. with you, brother. I'm dealing right. with you. Right. England, right? Right. England, English, same thing, right? Right. It derives from the term Anglos or angels. Bring it up. You understand? Okay. Like angels land is England. England, angels land, same thing. Okay. Bring it now, up. the term Anglo-Saxon, you heard that term before. I heard that term. What does that mean? I don't know. Anglo-Saxon means the angelic sons of Isaac. The angelic sons of From Isaac. England? That's right. I'm telling you what it means. I'm, not, but I'm asking the question. I, 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 I was, was I'm telling you. Transparent. Anglo I told you I didn't know, but you said the, that means, say it one more time. Anglo-Saxon right. means the angelic sons of Isaac. That's, That's right. right. Like Saxon is, look at the look at the word. If you think of Isaac, how do you spell Isaac? Uh, it's I S A A C, right? Okay. So now, if you take the I off of it, it's Sack. Sack, right? Okay. You got Sack sons. It's the angelic sons of Isaac. That's what, that's, it's, that's right. what it is. That's right. That's right. So now, in the Bible, when you read the Bible, Isaac had two sons. Do you know whose two sons were? You know. Yeah, I do, but I can't. Let's read it just real quick in Genesis uh, 25. Bring it up! Bring it up! Because Isaac had two sons. And only one of them was an angelic son. Wake up! Read, read what you got. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21. Read. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife Come on. because she was barren. So Isaac did what? Ishmael. Entreated the Lord for his wife. No, it's not Ishmael. That's before. That's Abraham. Abraham, okay. Now, Abraham had Ishmael and Isaac. Isaac. This is Isaac. Isaac had... Uh... We're going to get to it right now. Read. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife uh -huh. because she was barren. Read on. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebecca Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Rebecca, his wife, conceived. She got pregnant. Read on. And the children struggled together within her. Wait a minute. It's two. The children struggled together with her. Within her. Read on. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? Because the children were fighting in her womb. If it be so, the Lord, why is this going on with me? Read on. And she went to inquire of the Lord. Read on. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Two what? Two nations. So now God told her two different nations are in your womb. That's right. Two different nations. There wasn't a million people in there. It was two boys that would create nations of people. Two different. Read on. Two nations are in thy womb. Read on. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels. Read on. For the from thy bowels, uh -huh. and one people shall be stronger than the other people. One people shall be stronger than the other, read on. And the elder shall serve the younger. Demetrius, it says the elder child, the boy that comes out first, his destiny is to serve the younger child. That's right. Read on. That's right. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, read on. behold, there were twins in her womb. Now these were not identical, because we already determined, right? One will be stronger than the other. it will be two manner of people that are going to be separated, right? One is going to serve the other. They're not identical, but we don't. And the first came out red. The first came out what? Red. The first came out red. We don't. All over like a hairy garment. Uh huh. And they called his name Esau. They called the first boy Esau. E. The first came out red. We don't. And after that came his brother out. Uh huh. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. So now this boy, his hand took hold on this boy's heel. He grabbed his heel. Now we don't. And his name was called Jacob. His name was called Jacob. Now, Jacob became the forefather of who? Jacob, the tribe, the tribe. Right. So that's right. So guess who the angelic son of Isaac is? Okay, Jacob. Jacob. That's right. 
So how now, did we get to no, I'm di- England? I'm still, I'm still, I'm dealing with it. Okay. So now, who would the Anglo-Saxons be? Okay, that would be Esau. No, brother, right here. The, the angelic Saxons. sons of Isaac are That's right here. Right. Oh, these right. are the Anglo-Saxons, or the people that ruled England, or the Angels' Land. This is them right here. Okay. During the Dark Ages, that's what it's talking about right here. Okay. The, during the Dark Ages, these people ruled. Right. Okay, and they translated the Bible many different times, several different times. So into we it. spoke English back in when they considered they had a dark age. Brother, get Baruch 336. Baruch 336. Was that our original language? No, but I want to show you something. Okay, watch this. Baruch 336. What's this? This is the apocrypha. Hey, get my... Get, you got it. You got Baruch. it. So open it up. Baruch. Chapter 3 right. and verse 36. Bring it up. He had found out all the ways of knowledge that he is the most high god he found out all he created knowledge he found out all the way of knowledge read on and had given it unto jacob unto who unto jacob he had given it unto jacob read on his servant his servant and to israel and to israel his beloved his beloved all the ways of knowledge was given to us that's right you understand what i'm saying yeah all the ways of knowledge we taught everybody else everything read on Everything was given to us. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so now, go to um, Genesis 11 real quick. You got some? Oh, I want to show him that. You got the Bible? Yeah, yeah, take it around there so we can see it. Real quick, let's deal with the Apocrypha so we can see that. Okay, you got some. So now, show him, show him um, Baruch in there. Now, this is the King James Bible. This is it in its original 1611 form. When you talk about King James authorizing it to be translated, those books were in there. You see, Baruch? You see it? Yeah. Read that scripture one more time, Baruch 336, so we can see it again. Because he asked, the reason why he has a separate book, because most of the times the Bibles don't come with it in there. So you can still buy it, but we can buy it. That book costs almost like a hundred and some dollars. All right, so read. Bar- Baruch chapter 3. And verse 36, Bring it out. he had found out all the ways of knowledge uh-huh. and had given it unto Jacob, yeah. his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. Unto Israel, his beloved. So now, God loves who? Israel. You understand? God don't love everybody. That's, right. That's why they had to, let's, let's take these books out. Let's hide them over here. Let's tell them Negroes that this is the only thing they need right here. Right. You understand? It's certain things in this book that they don't want you to see. Right. You see what I'm saying? So now, I ask for Genesis 11 real quick. Go to that. Genesis 11. Because I want you to see what we fail to realize is we worship the white man even in our speech. That's right. So, so, no, you know what you're doing right now? You're telling me that the white man has enough power to create his own language, and now he created the Bible and rewrote it in his own language. The white man did not create English. I said, That's what he, you said he used it to trick us. But think about what you, you started with. Say, you started with the, the language. Same thing. He took parts out. No, brother. And, you missed, and he used it. To, listen. This you, is all these niggas. Demetrius, you said, you started out by saying this is their book in their language. That's what you said, right? So that means you said, you're telling me that the creator of heaven and earth, he has no control. The white man just popped up and said, oh, I'm going to create English. Right, right. Oh. No, let's read Ooh. Genesis 11 real quick. Let's read that. Bring it Genesis up. chapter 11 and verse 1. You know, I want to get to the point. Yeah, 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 read. Yeah. And the whole earth was of one language uh-huh. and of one speech. Now, this is back during the time of Genesis, right? right. Uh, the whole that, earth right. was of one language, what was that language and one speech. It was Hebrew, a form of Hebrew, that's right? Point. Yeah, you got to let me get to the point because I'm going to show you that the Most High created many languages. We're going to read it right now. Read. Verse 2. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east and that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. Now, these were the ancient Babylonians under, uh, what was his name? Nimrod. Nimrod. Under Nimrod, these were the ancient Babylonians. Okay? Yep. Now, what, what is Bab- now, I do know this. What, does, what, what came from Babylonia? Babel. It means the land of confusion. Babel means confusion. Lon is land. And the land what of did that turn into? It didn't turn into anything back then. We're going to read what it happened It turned to into it. English eventually. No, 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 no. no. Oh, I see what you're saying. The, the, no, Babylon is just, that means land of confusion. But the the land confusion was, was it, we're going to read the confusion. Read, okay. And they dwelt there. Let me show you. And they said one to another, uh-huh. go to, let us make brick. Now, the key is, remember, it says the whole earth was of one language and one speech. Right? Now read on. And burned them thoroughly. Uh-huh. And they had brick for stone. So they say, let's make brick. We're going to go build something. Read on. And slime had they for mortar. Come on. And they said, go to, 
Let us build us a city. Let us build us a city. Come and on. a tower uh, whose top may reach out to heaven. We want the top of it to reach all the way to the heaven. We want to try to overthrow God that created us. What? Right? Read on. And let us make us a name. Uh -huh. Lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Now watch this. And the Lord came down. The Most High saw that thing. He saw the evil behind it. He came down and did what? To see the city and the tower uh -huh. which the children of men built it. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, Behold, Behold what? the people is one, and they have all one language. Uh -huh. So now, they're all one, and they have one language. They all understand what everybody is saying. Come on. And this they begin to do. And this is what they begin to do when they all come together as one. I don't like this. This is not what I created here. Read on. Watch and this. And now, nothing will be restrained from them. Watch this. Which they have imagined to do. Come on. Go to let us. Go down. Who is the us? Let, let us go down. That means the most high and his angels. That's what it's talking about. Let us go down and do what? And there confound their language. So now, the most high, all the way back in Genesis, this is way before Moses, way no. before Egypt, way before that. Right? No, it was not before Egypt. This brother, was not before Egypt. Brother, the pyramids this, was here before that. Brother, you're wrong. This is way before Egypt right here. No, no. This, I just, that's why I said, this is, this is ancient. This, this is dated before I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you. Before the pyramids. I guess. I'm going to tell you something. When I said Babylon, right, there was two different Babylons. There was ancient Babylon under Nimrod, and then you had the Neo-Babylonian Empire under Nebuchadnezzar and so forth during the time of Daniel. That's two, that's two different, two different Babylons. Now, it says, let us go down to confound their languages. Right here. It's telling you right here. The Most High created many languages and said, you go over there, you go over here. I don't want everybody together. That's not what I created. You understand what I'm saying? So now, the Most High created languages back here, back here. In Genesis. Now I want you to get uh, Isaiah 28, right? Give me that Isaiah 28. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 11. Uh -huh. For with stammering lips. With what? With stammering lips. In a what? And another tongue. In another what? Another tongue. This is another language. In stammering lips in another language. Will he speak to this people? So now, God is prophetically saying that in another language, he's going to speak to his people. That's right. In another language, meaning not in Hebrew, right. not in Hebrew, he's going to speak to his people. Right. How is he speaking to them? Bring it up. Right, right now in the English, in this Bible, right yes. now. He's right. speaking right. to you. You are Israelite from the tribe of Judah. He's speaking to you right now. Right. Read it again. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. Come on. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak. To this people. Now it says, will he speak to this people? Get 1 Corinthians 14, 21. Watch this. It says, will he speak to this people? Now watch how Paul understood that to be in the New Testament. Now this is during the time of Christ when the Romans ruled, right? Right? This is during the time of what they call now, what do they call it now? Uh, uh, um, A.D., right? A.D., right? Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 21. Bring it out. In the law, it is written. Wait a minute. Paul says, in the law, in the Old Testament, it is written. With men. With, of, with who? With men of other tongues. It says, with men of other tongues. Now, in the Old Testament, it says, will he speak to this people? That means God speaks to you through men. That's right. That's right. Through languages. Right. Right. Through, through English. This brother right here knows Spanish. So guess what? He can reach his northern kingdom brothers and sisters through Spanish. That's, that's right. right. That's, what through, you that's with men of other tongues. Read it again. Verse 21. In the law it is written uh -huh. with men of other tongues and other lips. You see that? Other tongues and other lips. Meaning this, this is not Hebrew right here. Why are you doing it? But it's prophetic. Why? You know why? You know why? Just, we're going to read it. But finish that. We're going to read Will it. Will I speak unto this people? Read it one more time. In like the it. law it is written uh -huh. with men of other tongues uh -huh. and other lips. Will I speak unto this people? With men of other tongues and lips, will I, will I speak to this people? Now, let's show them why, why in Deuteronomy 4.27. I think that's the one, right? Watch. I'm going to show you why. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 4, 27. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you. And who? And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. Uh -huh. And you shall be left few. In number among the heathen. That was a curse to happen to the children of Israel. They will be scattered amongst all the nations. And they will be left few in number. So guess what? 
We were sent to North, Central, South America, China, Haiti, uh, uh, Europe, so forth. We, we all over the earth, and guess what? In those lands that we're in, we have to come back to who we are in those languages. That's right. Get Acts chapter 2. Read it out. I'm going to show you, even during the time of the apostles, the same thing happened back then. Acts 2. Read. Yeah. Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, Read on. they were all with one accord in one place. Uh -huh. And suddenly there came a now, sound. Now, now, Pentecost is a high holy day. Did you know that? Something like that. It's, you heard of Pentecostal before? Yeah, Pentecostal. They create, now, they, the white man, the white man right. created a religion out of the day. Read it one more time. Read it. When, when mean, the I day of Pentecost. You hear what it says? When the day of Pentecost. It's only one day. Right. That's one day out of the year God created. Now they create a whole religion out of it. Right. You see what I'm saying? And that's what the white man did with the Bible. But no, they didn't literally uh, create the language and then translate it and say, we're going to teach them this, that. No, they didn't do that. Okay. But I'm going to finish this. Watch. You're, gonna pose, you're making me pose another question. You took me somewhere else. Now I got another question. No, I'm still dealing with the language. So what did they steal from up if, if, if that's the that was our religion. Very simply, right? Look, look at what we well, read. In slavery, look they at, made us give up our religion that we was practicing and, and take on that. Yeah. No, they. So, so what did they take from us? What, the, what this were we is, practicing? Listen, think about when you came up here, right? The brother asked you, "What is your nationality?" You said, "What?" I don't know. I, 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 anybody that came so, go back I, I, past so six hundred years. Hold on. What are I? I can't Demetrius. say I'm African. I can't say I'm Chinese. So I you, can't you see, say none of that. So now you answered your own question. Right. You you asked, well, what did they take from us? Think about what I just asked but you. They took, but, but, Brother, okay, once I, again, I, meant, I said, my they took our religion. So what religion were we practicing if they took that and gave us that? Okay. What were we practicing? And hey, you can't answer that no, because no, you I, wasn't here. I can answer. The people but they look, took it look, from us, but they're gone. I'm going to ask my sister. Sister, what's, what's your nationality? You see what she said? Right. Now you said, you just said, you've been out here for about 30, 40 minutes, right? The brother was teaching earlier about all these curses that would happen to Israel. I just asked you, what is your nationality? You said, I don't know. You said, I don't know if I'm African, I don't know if I'm this, I don't know no, if I'm I that. I I can't claim to be African. I can tell you what I'm not. Okay, what is your nationality? I don't know. And, and, and like I said, yes, you could, you could train me to say that. I can believe in that, but what are we doing to get back to that? Okay. That's, that's where I'm you, going You already that. answered that question. You, you answered it early. Remember you said you got to come back to the laws. That's what you said. That's right. And that's, that's, what, the, that's what the Bible told you you got to do. That's right. Okay, but you got to still acknowledge who you are according to the Bible. That's right. You cannot say I'm black anymore or I'm African American. Christ ain't coming back looking for African Americans. Right. He's coming back looking for the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who right. Who have repented and kept his laws. Now, 1 Kings 8. I got to, let's go to 1 Kings 8. All right, I'm gonna show you something. First Kings 8:47. Watch this. Watch this. This is the book of First Kings, chapter 8 and verse 46. Come on. If they sin against thee, for there is no if, man. If, if, if the Israelites sin against you, God, come on. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. Uh huh. And thou be angry with them. If you're angry with the Israelites, and do what? And deliver them to the enemy. Now you deliver the Israelites to their enemies. Bring it out. You deliver them to their enemies. That means what? The white man didn't come on his own will and decide to take us. Just like he didn't come on his own will and decide to give you the English translation of the Bible. Okay, the, it says the Most High delivered us to the enemies. Okay. That means amongst your enemies, you had to be taught things that were wrong. Right. They had, to be, they had to be the enemy. They had to show themselves to be the enemy. They had to teach you lies. They had to teach you the white image of Jesus. They had to teach you you was a nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Real. So that they carry them away captive. So that they carry them away captive. Unto the land of the enemy. Unto the land of the enemy. Far or near. Far or near. Because there was many different lands. Like I referenced earlier. China. Haiti, uh, Europe, so forth. Many different lands. Read on. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. Yet, if you shall bethink yourself. Bring it out. Now, you said, that, you said that I can train you to say that, but no, you got to bethink yourself. It says, if they shall bethink themselves. The same way the sister right here. She said, I'm Israel. You see what I'm saying? You, we have to, you know what bethink means? I guess you have to train yourself. Mm -hmm. You got you, yeah, but the only way to train yourself is to seek the knowledge and get the, the facts. Right, but watch so, the Bible. So if I'm we got if we got facts got that proof. we know our facts sitting in London, what are we doing to get those facts? 
You said if we what? Said we have facts from the time that book was written, that was stolen, yeah, yeah, yeah. they still sitting in somewhere that it belongs to us. Yeah. But, but, to use them. but think about Read what I just what, so I just gave you prophetically that the most high would teach would teach you and reach you in another language, right? That means guess what? Spanish. Who told who told Portuguese, you that? huh? The, that that book told you that. The, the Bible just said it. It's prophetic. So now, guess what? That means you, all you got to do is look in society. When God says, think about what God says. He told you that your enemy will put yokes of iron on your necks until you are destroyed, right? He told them. He told Moses to tell the children of Israel. If they we've been under that ever since. Yes, but think about it. Did that happen, yes or no? Did, did, what, did he tell them? No. Did it happen that the children of Israel had yokes of iron on their necks? Yes or no? It was written that yes. No, I'm saying literally in society, did the children of Israel have yokes of iron on their necks? Yes. They did, right? Uh, That's guess what? That's written in English. Bring it out. So guess what? The white man did not create a prophecy. God put this in his Bible. You understand what I'm saying? You think the white that's what I'm saying. We worship the white man in our speech. That's why I said that. Because you think the white man Think about it. If the white man created the English language and he wrote that in his Bible, that means he's a prophet and he's God. No, no, no. Please. That's what you're saying no, in your no, no, no. no. That's not what I'm saying. No. I'm saying a white man, a Roman man, had, like you said, had 46 people translate that out of his native language into that. That's not no. saying. That's not saying. That's not saying he wrote the Bible. I never said that. Yeah, you gotta uh, fix it now. Uh, you know, no, yeah, you but know. that's what I said from the beginning. Wait, 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 you know that's mm. hey, that's some BS, bro. Cause you know, listen, I want to get that precept on um, bethink though, yes, sir. real quick. Cause we, just, we remember we were dealing with bethink. You have to bethink yourself. Right. So the Bible will tell you, all right. The Bible will define itself. Watch this. Baruch, oh, chapter sister, two. You can get out. You can get out and deal with us. Read. And verse thirty. Watch For this. I know, I knew that they would not hear me. The Mosar says, I knew. I already knew they were not going to hear me. Why? Because it is a stiff-necked people. Right. We are a stiff-necked people. Right. Right. Come on. But in the land of their captivities. In the land of your captivity. They shall remember themselves. You see that? That's what yes, the, that's right. what they've been thinking means. In the land of your captivity, which is here, right? We were brought here. Our ancestors were brought here. In the land of our captivity, we gotta remember ourselves. That's right. We gotta remember ourselves as Israel. What tribe what tribe are you from? She from Judah. What tribe are you from? Haven't done enough work to know what Okay. I can't say in, that. In a in a basic level, basic level. It simply goes by your father's lineage. Is your father African American? Is he quote unquote Haitian? Jamaican? Is he Puerto Rican? Afro African American. African American. So according to your father's lineage, you also come from the tribe of Judah. Yes. All right. Okay. Now, that's 47. 47. First Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Bring it out. Yeah. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. Yet if you will remember yourself, read on. In the land whether they were carried captive. You see, he's saying the same thing here. In the land you were carried captive. You got to remember yourself. So guess what? You had to be taught the Bible in English in the land of your captivity. That's right. To remember yourself. Because guess what? If I come to you talking Hebrew, you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know the Hebrew language. Our people don't know the Hebrew language. We can barely well, speak English out that? here. Bring it up, yeah. Because we were destroyed. But guess what? It was prophetic that with men of other tongues would he speak to his people. That's, That's, right. Right. That's what we read. Now read it. And repent. And do what? And repent. So now you have to bethink yourself, and now you got to come back to what you broke. What? That's, right. That's what that's what repent means. Bring it out. Repent means to change your ways. Exactly. Read on. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carry them captives. Now it says in the land of them that carry them captives. That means you got to do it right here, right now. Right. You got to repent. You got to bethink yourself right here, right now. You can't say to yourself, you know what? We're going to go to Jerusalem and I'm going to go over there and repent. That's not what God told you to do. No. He said repent in the land of your captivity. That's right. right. Read on. Saying, we have sinned. That's what you got to say, Most High. We have sinned. Read on. And have done perverseness. We have done perverseness. Read on. We have committed wickedness. Uh -huh. And so return unto thee. You see that? And so return unto thee. King Solomon gave us the blueprint what we got to do. Right. We can't look to another language. We can't look to another land. We got to do it right here in this language, in this land. That's, right. That's what the Bible's telling us right here. In the land of your captivity, you got to remember yourself. That's right. That's right. right. So now, there's nobody, 
on a global scale, I say that in America, that's teaching the Bible out of Hebrew. It don't exist. Right. Okay. Hey. And we read prophetically that most how would deal you in, in the English language or Spanish or whatever language that we, we scattered in. Why? Because we were scattered amongst all people that's on right. the slave ships and so forth. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Now, is there something wrong with learning Hebrew and trying to get back to that? And, no, it's nothing wrong with that. You can study it, but guess who you're going to learn it from? Oh God. Bring it up! Uh, uh, give me that 2848. Bring it up! Right? 2848. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it up! Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee. He said you will serve your enemies, and he would send them against you. Read on. In hunger. In hunger. So we would serve our enemies for food. We have to go to our enemies for food. That's what the Bible is telling right. us. Read on. And in thirst. For water, we have to go to our enemies. Right. If you don't pay your water bill, your enemy will turn it off. That's right. Read, on. Read on. And in nakedness. For clothing, we have to go to our enemies. Right. That's what the Bible is telling us. Read on. And in want of all things. So now it says, and in the want of all things. So if you wanted to become a Baptist, a Pentecostal, a Presbyterian, you learn that from your enemies. That's right. That's right. God never told you to be that. See? You you grew up in church? You grew up in church. That'd be my idea. Well, I ain't gonna say everybody, yes, I did. What denomination? Uh Baptist. Baptist, right? Mm -hmm. Where did God tell us to be a Baptist? What you say? What you say? In that Baptist same book. Where did God tell us to be a Baptist in here? No, God did not tell you to be no Baptist. There was a prophet named John the Baptist. That's right. That's right. He baptized people. God never commanded us to be Baptists. That's right. You know what Baptist? Baptist is a profession. Teach. That means you're a professional baptizer. That's what it means. If I'm a pianist, that means I play I play piano professionally. John was a Baptist because that was his job. To baptize people and prepare them the way of Christ. There was no religion named Baptist during the time of Christ. Right. You understand? Know that's a bunch of, so and that's that. what the white man gave you. He told Please. you he was a nigga and you a Baptist. That's what Bring he did. You a nigga Baptist. That's what he did. Bring right. it out. Not you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah Please. and you need to repent and keep God's commandments. They didn't tell you that. You see what I'm saying? That's so, what they so, stole from us. So you're talking about what commandments? All the commandments? All, the, 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 the commandments. all of them. Anything that doesn't per pertain to sacrifice. Bring it out. Right? So, so meaning, all, all, the word, all, all the words and read in that book that was spoken by, well, spoken by the Most High. Christ. The Messiah. That's in red in the New Testament. See. That's but what God asking? spoke in the red in the Old Testament. The there's, Old Testament. No, there's no... There's no quote unquote read in the Old Testament. It's only well, well when God spoke in the Old Testament or when his commandments was passed down, those are the commandments you're talking about. Yeah, let's read one. Numbers 1538. Bring it up. Oh. Right? Let's read one. And then we gotta we gotta wrap it up, right? Numbers yeah, chapter yeah, 15 yeah. verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Read it from the top. Speak unto the children of Israel. This is the most high you ask, when the Most High speaking the Old Testament, he says, telling Moses, he told Moses, speak unto the children of Israel, these people here, and do what? And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So what's that talking about? He says, command them to make fringes in their garments. What's that talking about? That what that is right there? 100%. 100%. Okay. That's right. That's a commandment. It says, command them or bid them, bid means command, to make fringes in their garments. Read on. Throughout their generations. You see what it says? Throughout their generations. So that means if you have a child, a daughter, a son, your generation passes on, so forth and so on. You got to pass that custom down. That's right. Okay, throughout their generations. Come on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And you're to put a ribbon of blue on top of those fringes. Now you see, do you see the men out here doing that? You see what I'm saying? So now guess what we did? We remembered ourselves in our captivity, that's right. and we came back to the commandments. That's, that's what we did. Right. That's, that's the only thing we t out here telling y'all y'all got to do, too. Right. That's how we're going to get back to our, you asked about our um, our treasures and all the things that we, everything that we lost. Right, right. Everything. That's how we got to get back to it. But, but right. guess what? The Most High ain't going to deal with us in our wickedness. He's not going to deal with us like that. We got to come back as Israel and keep his commandments. That's, that's right. right. You see what I'm saying? Now, get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it up. So oh, it's more. Read. And so it shall be unto you for a friend. It shall be unto you for a friend. That ye may look upon it. That ye may look upon it. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. So now it's a it's it's basically like it's it's a helper. It's a guide to you. So you can say, you know, I'm supposed to be keeping God's commandments. I'm an Israelite. 
That's what it's, it's and do them and do them so you can remember and do them. Okay, but you got to be taught how to do them. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. My sister, I'm going to read something for you. Hey, you see this sister right here? What's the difference between you and her right now? Distance, but okay, physically. Physically. Yes, garment. What's the difference? In her garment versus yours. I thank you, brothers, man. I gotta get back to work. Yes. She's in a dress, you're in pants. So, so Demetrius. Yes, sir. What tribe are you from? Judah. Judah. Yeah, All right. praises, my brother. All right. So now, Deuteronomy 20, 22 and 5, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Soon. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So you see that? It says, the woman shall not wear what pertains to a man. Read on. Neither shall a man. Put on a woman's garment. So now, if we were out here in her attire, you would be probably looking at us like we're crazy, right? If we are out here in dresses and skirts on, not quite. Not, not quite. We're not talking about, now, a, a, a garment or a robe is different from a dress, right? Because we do have robes or garments as well, right? Christ wore a garment that came down to his foot. I'll read that in a second, but it says, it's talking about a particular garment for the lower extremities of your body. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Watch this. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. You hear what it says? If when you do that, when you put on what pertains to men, that's an abomination to God. That's right. So my that's sister right. here... When she acknowledged that she's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, she said, you know what, I'm not going to do Because you wore pants, right? You did, how long ago, roughly? A year ago. She was doing the same thing. I'm married. My wife was doing the same thing. But until we understood, wait a minute. Yo, you're not supposed to be doing that according to the Bible. You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's the reason why we're reading it to you, so you can understand how you truly supposed to love God. Right, yeah. We got to love God through action. Right. Get 1 John 3 and 18. Let's show it. Bring it out. 1 John 3 18. First John chapter 3 and verse 18. Bring it out. My little children, let us not love in word. My, ch my little children, let us not love in word. Read. Neither in tongue. Neither in tongue. I love God. I love God with all my heart. Don't do that. The Bible says don't do that, but what? But in deed and in truth. But in deed. That's what we got to do. And we show them we love him based on those actions. You see what I'm saying? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth